What's up guys? So you know what this video is. Every time there's an update, I like to do one of these videos to let you guys know what is going on, what is new. Um, so hopefully you don't mind. It's just like a nice little three minute video to give you guys an update on what's going on. This week I'm actually going to try to have uh, daily videos. Uh, if you're wondering where the videos have been, just been working on this update. I, you know, this update took about 20-30 hours. Um, it's, it, it took a while and you'll see why. There's a, there's a, a ton of stuff. So. Uh, the first thing I'll show you is the, um, uh, let me scroll all the way to the bottom here. Uh, their aggression pots have been added. So they require 98 herblore. You can get these from Mud, which is located in the Legendary Zone. And then there's also one near Eagle's Peak. And um, you can see I have one right here. So if you look, all of the monsters are just kind of chilling. None of them want to attack me. And the second I take a little sip of this potion, they are going to want to beef me. Boom! Everybody's beefing, you see? So, that's pretty cool right there. I was very happy I was able to do that. It was an idea I had for for a while. I just didn't think it would be um, something I could do. But it, I, I, I was able to. So, I was pretty stoked about that. But that's why I figured I'd show that first. Just because uh, it's like an AFK while I'm doing that. If you're wondering what the gear... Look at this. Look at these bad boys. Yeah, I've just been sitting here for a while. People always, always wonder like what you should do with bandits. Personally, I just like to just stockpile like, the half keys. And I just leave all these, these clues on the floor. Sad pandas. But, um, yeah, let me uh, scroll all the way back up. So, the main thing in this update is Fossil Island. That is what it is called. I am showing my IP right now. There it is. Come DDoS me. I really hope I remember to edit that out. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you want to get there, go home, and then you can use uh, the ship right next to Adam and Watson, the uh, Iron Man and the Master Clue NPCs. Uh, so this is what the island looks like. We are still developing some of the content, so it's not the full island. Uh, you'll start off here, and if you if you want to look at this, just look at this. I'm not going to show you. Uh, Deranged Archaeologist was added. This is what the shop looks like, if you want to take a look. Um, some stats. If you want to just pause, or again, this will be linked in the description below, so you can look at that. Uh, so the, the exchange rates, uh, all the uh, fossils right here, and there's explanations on how you get them. So again, if you want to pause, or again links in the description below. Uh, the mammoths are pretty good in my opinion. Their drop table is very good. The hair is worth 50k. I don't know if people know that. I hope that they'll bother to check or at least just watching this video now you know. So they should be uh, they should be pretty, pretty good. And they're also very tanky. People were asking about that saying that you can't even hit them. You can. They're just very tanky. Uh, Wyvern, the new Wyvern Shield is out. It does have a 5% damage boost for magic. Looks pretty cool. Uh, stats I should be exactly the same, other than the five percent. I think that's the only thing custom. Um, then a lot of other f you know fixes and whatnot. Platinum tokens are added. Uh, Rosalo is gone. He'll be coming back on the first of January. A lot of price improvements. You can now imbue wilderness rings to give them the same uh, luck boosting effect as a ring of all eye. If you weren't um, aware, the wilderness rings actually do have very good stats. They're up. They're not normal stats. Uh, they're all the best rings in game in terms of you know, bonuses and whatnot, so having the Ring of Wealth effect on there is pretty cool. Uh, two new Superior Slayer monsters, Gargoyles and the Necrails. Um, uh, you can remove your title now. Uh, the Mutagens have been added, so you have a 1 in 3k chance of getting them from Zora. Uh, they're pretty cool, pretty rare. We'll have to see how long it takes for somebody to get one. Uh, other than that, uh, a couple, you know, promotions, demotions, and... Uh, some uh, good uh, fixes and whatnot. But uh, the main update that's going to be happening next is Invention. Invention is finally here. We are ready to start working on it. People have always wondered, how is it going to work? What do you do? What even is Invention? There's going to be more information coming out soon. Um, invention is one of those things where it was one of the first big ideas I had. Before this server even really became a server, when, we, when John and I were just talking about you know, what we might want to do. Invention was the first idea I had. And that was really the thing that kind of, like, drove me to keep this server, to, to start the server with him, and then to keep it alive when it was um, dead. We'll just be honest, it was, it, was, it was dead. Like, we had two players, if that. And um, the thought of, like, coding Invention, I, I, I loved it. I thought it was going to be awesome. I thought having a custom skill on a private server would be crazy. Not a whole lot of servers have been able to successfully do it. So that's what kind of kept me going, and that is finally coming... I will have more information uh, the second I have the information to give you because I'm still workout shopping ideas and um, the whole process is going to take a while to code. We decided that it's not really worth doing unless we do it right so we're going we're gonna to take a lot of time on it. Um, today when I'm uploading this is the 2nd of October. 
I would think towards the end of October is when I'm hoping it'll be in game. Um, in terms of updates, there's not going to be a whole lot. There's going to be a couple little things here and there, bug fixes, anything Dark has will be added, but the main the main update will be Invention, and that's going to be coming later in this uh, month. And then there is uh, there is going to be a Halloween event. I'm not going to talk about that too much, but the Halloween event will probably be coming sometime around the 14th. We'll probably do it about half. Uh, I guess we'll probably do it like two weeks before, and we'll end it like two weeks after, something along those lines. So there will be a Halloween event people are running. That'll be our next event. Should be pretty interesting. I have some, some good ideas for it, but... Yeah, just gonna end this video here. Just wanted to let you guys know about these updates. I'm gonna have some da um, some daily videos out this week. Hopefully, something new on APUG. If you haven't seen APUG in a little while, you can see I'm kind of on it right now. Uh, I'm gonna work on uh, f the Raiders series with uh, John and Pawn. Uh, work on Chow Chow a little bit. <laughs> Try to get all those videos out. And then I'm also gonna start doing um, some opening videos on the new chests. Uh, if you're not uh, familiar, not too long ago. We updated the treasure chest, mystery boxes, all of that. And I uploaded a mystery box vi uh, video, but I haven't done any of the chests yet. So I'll make a video on those to show you guys those loots. And hopefully we'll have daily videos for this entire week.